Now the barbecue sauce has simmered for about one hour and 15 minutes. Now as you can see, when you simmer something, it changes color. Look at that beautiful, rich brown color. It has to be thickened perfectly. It also has to be thinned a little bit. That's the perfect barbecue sauce. So now we're going to bring our, uh, oh, it's hot. That barbecue sauce is hot. But we're going to bring our Aurora over here. Then we're going to make our nice serving dish. Then we're going to pick up the pot without any spillage. And we're going to pull the pot onto this plate here. Let me just uh, pull the sauce into our serving dish. And then I can... Put it aside for our barbecue we're having tonight. So then, if you're having some difficulty trying to get it out, well, then you can carefully, carefully, and I'll just rotate hands around to make it easier for me to pull, whoops, <laughs> all of it in. Now, before I put it aside for later, let me just clear this table up since that's a little spillage. I'm going to have a little look for you. It must be cooled down now. It's, it's, it, it's hot, but I'm going to have a look for you. Now, it has a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spiciness, and a little bit of smokiness. That is the perfect, the perfect barbecue sauce you would sell for anything grilled. So that is how you make your own barbecue sauce. And until I see you next time, I'm Evel Cody, Wound.